Long the unofficial vehicle of large families and Forest Service work crews, the 2025 Chevrolet Suburban and the shorter wheelbase Tahoe sibling are getting some updates that bring them further up market than ever before. Alongside the tweaked exterior and interior design, they also get massive improvements in terms of technology that should make living with these big SUVs even easier. For more on the 2025 Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban, click the link in the description for the full MotorOne.com debut post. You should also subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're up there, and you can find us on all of your favorite social media. That's Facebook, Threads, Instagram, X, and TikTok to interact with us there. The most obvious changes to the Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban start up front, where you get a much bolder daytime running light signature and upsized headlights mounted in the middle of the bumper. The grille design is also much more aggressive on all models with this big C-channel gloss black element and thick bar that connects the two sides of the grille. The grille textures vary from trim to trim, which means on the Z71, you get a fully gloss black design with a shadow chrome and black Chevrolet bowtie badge in the middle. The Z71 also gets a tweaked lower bumper that gives it a better approach angle and there's a nice robust skid plate down low to protect your engine when you're off-roading. If you told me I had to make a complaint, I would probably say that these grills are a little bit fussier than they were before. I actually found the previous Suburban to be pretty appealing, but at the same time, the changes aren't so drastic as to alienate current customers who will probably love this new design. As you might expect of a mid-cycle refresh, the body structure between 2024 and 2025 hasn't changed. And as a result, the Tahoe and Suburban look very similar when viewed in profile to their immediate predecessors. There is one exception though, with some new wheel designs ranging from 18 inches on the base model to a staggering 24 inches on the high country and optional on the RST. They look absolutely phenomenal. And I think customers who want maximum posing will love checking that box. The stylistic alterations pick up again as you round the rear where both the Suburban and the Tahoe have been tweaked to appear wider and more planted. That starts with this big gloss black trim panel that appears on every trim of the Tahoe and Suburban and extends into these taillights that have actually been inverted in their signature lighting appearance to make them appear more planted and wider. The rear bumper has also been reshaped slightly to fit round tailpipes on the LS, LT, Z71, and RST and square tailpipes on the High Country and Premier. In addition to the revised exterior, Chevrolet also made some thoughtful improvements to the Suburban and Tahoe's mechanics. For example, the torquey three liter Duramax inline six is now available on a wider variety of products, including the Z71. Chevrolet said that its customers wanted that off-road capability with the torque and fuel economy of the diesel and the company obliged for 2025. That diesel now makes 305 horsepower and 495 pound-feet, which is more than last year too, so it's going to be even more capable on that front. But the biggest news in the switch from 2024 to 2025 is this completely revised infotainment suite. Every single Suburban and Tahoe, including the base LS model with the bench seat, is going to get a new 17.7-inch infotainment cluster that spans almost the entire width of the driver's side cockpit. Chevrolet also included physical knobs for the climate controls and the radio volume so that you can make slight adjustments on the fly without needing to dig into the touchscreen. In addition to the new screen real estate, there are some additional technology features, including the connected camera system. Connected camera allows you to access your vehicle's surround view monitors and interior camera from anywhere in the world if you have an OnStar plan, meaning you can keep an eye on things even if you're miles and miles away from your car. The Tahoe and Suburban also include a new rear seat monitoring system that detects micro movements, that is heartbeat and breath rate, to tell you if you've accidentally left something in your car that maybe you shouldn't have, a dog or a baby or something like that. It's a great feature that's even more advanced than the typical rear seat alert systems used today. And speaking of safety, just about everything that you can get from Chevrolet is standard on the Suburban and Tahoe, including forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, front and side pedestrian detection, and blind spot monitoring. Adaptive cruise control even comes standard, and if you need the absolute most, you can get Super Cruise as an option on the LT, RST, Premier, and High Country. Last year, it was only available on the latter two trims. The 2025 Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban will go into production late next year, 
at the company's Arlington, Texas assembly facility. Pricing has yet to be announced, but given all of that extra technology on offer, you could probably plan on spending a little bit more than the current Tahoe's $56,200 starting price or the current Suburban's $59,200 starting price. But even so, for big families or big contract jobs, the 2025 Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban include a few unique features that make them even easier to live with without sacrificing what's made them legends for such a long time. Thanks for watching.